In this video, you guys are about to see how I lost 19 pounds in just three days and got my belly from huge, puffy, big, bloated to flat in just three days as well. No gimmicks, no clickbait, foolproof baby. Don't blink, you might miss something. Hey Blues, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also, follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too and do all the other stuff. Hit that bell, post notification, all of that stuff, all right? I am on day three right now. I already lost the 19 pounds. Stomach is flat, tight, and right, all right? <laughs> but in this video, it's super detailed. You guys are about to see how I lost the 19 pounds. And at the end, I will get back to you guys. Fuming, hello, hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I already probably said that spiel at the beginning of this video because I'm planning on doing this video backwards. But you guys, I am doing the cabbage soup cleanse once again. This time around, I'm going to be adding shrimp into the mix. I'll leave the recipe at the end of this video but just know that I added wild caught shrimp into the mix um, inside of the cabbage soup that I'm doing this time around if you guys don't know yes I'm eating seafood again I already expressed it Mediterranean style way of eating now that's a way of life and I'm loving it but um right now I'm choosing to do a cleanse and what inspired this is first of all I have been like it's no secret I've been going from social media for a minute and uh, my husband and I have something huge going on that um as I said before, it'll speak for itself in a couple of weeks. I'm super excited. Couldn't be more excited. You guys will see coming soon. Um, yeah, we have something going on. And I took a took a um, break from counting calories for a second because I got so busy and so consumed into that. And I didn't like how I was feeling for a second. So I was like, you know what? Let me jump back into it. Let me start a cleanse. And what inspired me to fume it is because my last cabbage soup cleanse is going crazy in numbers and you guys have so many different questions so i'm going to jump into a lot in this video talk to you guys a lot give you guys a lot of tips because right now we are in a time where it's the holidays and all of that type of stuff and people are going to be gaining weight and people are going to want to learn how to lose the weight or get into a situation where they can um, jumpstart their weight loss journey and then go on to a calorie deficit and lose their weight in a healthy way. And you guys know you can find all of that here. I have meal plans down in the, the description box below. All of that stuff. I'm about to hop on the scale in a second and I'm going to show you guys my current weight. And by the end of this challenge, I'm going to show you guys that weight as, as well. I plan on doing it for seven days. Who knows? One thing about this cabbage soup cleanse, when you adopt it, it's really, really a beast and the weight just kind of like falls off. It starts with the water weight and then if you continue into a calorie deficit after you hop off of this, then that'll become actual fat that you're losing and before you know it, you'll be well on your way to a good and nice, healthy weight loss journey. Before I weigh in really quick, I do want to tell you guys, fill you guys in on a couple of things that I am adding in along the way because you guys was a little confused last time and I want to make sure I'm fully just detailed on everything that I'm doing. So I'm about to work out. I'll give you guys the scoop on that in just a second and I'm about to scale in. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to get on the scale, but um, I'm about to add in my Bell Wave uh, Super Fiber Plus Fruit drink right here. And I did this last time and you guys were super confused on where to get this. Look down in the description box down below. There will be a link right at the top. Use Keisha 20 and it'll get you guys 20% off of this, which really help. I'm all about saving money. And this is a drink that just helps with your digestion. On the back, it tells you everything. I'll try to get it right here. But in case you guys cannot see, as I've been drinking this stuff, a lot and especially when I'm on my cabbage soup cleanse I make sure that I incorporate this as well smooth move obviously it helps you go to the bathroom because it's fiber anything that's fiber is going to help you go to the bathroom is going to help you to feel full longer it's just going to help you along the way less bloating and that is so true so so many of you guys were saying that on the cabbage soup cleanse you were feeling bloated and that's because you're getting a lot of fiber a lot of water 
Try adding this in, this um, Bellway Super Fiber Plus Fruit. Try adding it in. Um, you guys, like I said, can get this down below. Try, Go ahead and try adding it in. I'm going to show you guys how I add it in my daily routine when I'm doing this as well. And um, just helps you to have clear skin. And then it helps you to feel fuller. See, I told you guys, with fiber, you're going to feel fuller. And this is super simple. I have my water right here along with my um bellway right here as well you guys and i just um squeeze a lemon half of a lemon in this i'm going to cut my lemon right here can you guys see what i'm doing let me make sure so i'm going to cut my lemon right here half of it i'm going to squeeze in here after i put one scoop and i do this twice a day when i'm doing the um the uh cabbage soup cleanse and i do it once a day when i'm not just to i'm telling you i got so many people up on this you guys it's <laughs> it's hard to pass up so and i recommend putting it in a mason jar if you can but if you can't you can just put it go ahead and put it in a regular cup and then stir it last time i think i showed you guys me putting it in a regular cup it tastes really really good and i put my top on it and just give it a good shake it tastes really really good kind of like kool-aid you're getting like a kool-aid um taste in your with your cabbage soup cleanse you guys it's awesome. It tastes good. It's not like gritty on the inside. The uh, the scoop really breaks up in the water really, really well. And it's just an all around good addition to add in. And it really helps along the way. I can promise you guys that 20% down below. Keisha 20 will give you 20% down below. Here is my starting weight 166 8. I was 165 earlier but whatever so as you guys can see where I am right now I'm 165 and this is honestly my sweet spot but it's still fat and slash thick and I'm at that spot to where I always get content right here at this spot unless I'm just like going super hard working super hard and um I always get content at this spot and I think that's something that I need to really work on and I'm just being honest and vulnerable with you guys because my whole thing with my channel I never want you guys to feel alone if you are going through it, if you're going through it best believe 10 times out of 10 there's millions of people around the world going through what you're going through that's why I'll always be very transparent here on my channel always talk to you guys about what I'm going through when it come down to my weight and never let up at all i'll show you guys the good the bad the ugly my downfalls my ups all of that stuff my peaks and my valleys all the way until i don't want to fume anymore um i always vowed that on my channel to show you guys everything that i'm going through when they come down to my weight no matter what type of backlash i'm getting no no matter what type of way anyone else looked at me because i know it's people that are really going through it when they come down to their weight loss journey. And if that's you, you can do it. You literally can do it. All it takes is for you to get in a calorie deficit. I recommend starting with some type of cleanse and you can definitely do it. You are about to witness me in this video, show you how just by a simple cleanse, just by a cleanse, how much weight you can lose, how much water weight you can lose. It starts off with water weight. That's what it starts off with. And then you keep going as far as being in a calorie deficit and your body will tap into those fat stores and you will start to lose fat. It's inevitable. It's, it's going to happen unless you're extremely sick or your body is going through something where you can't lose weight. You're, you're, it's going to happen. Trust and believe me. Look at my past videos. Look at everything that I went through. You're going to lose weight. The thing is, is keeping it, keeping it off. As of recent, I haven't had any problems with like putting on a whole bunch of weight or anything like that. But my thing is I want to push past this 165. And that's why I'm going to um, document just the rest of my weight loss journey with you guys, me losing more weight. I want to get, I would say into like the 120s and then just stay there. And that's where I'm headed to. So you guys better soak up all of this knowledge that you are getting about weight loss, all of these quick little tricks to lose water weight, to get ready for weddings, birthday parties, events, and 
and different things like that. Soak this up because I'm telling you guys, once I get to where I want to be in the 120s, I won't have any more weight to lose and any more weight to show you guys me losing and water weight and all of that stuff will be gone. So soak these things up. Try these things that I'm doing. And um, yeah, this is day one. But like I said, I'm about to push past this 165 after this situation, after I show you guys this cleanse. This is meant to be a seven day cleanse, but if I start losing weight too fast, I'm gonna dial it back and not focus on the seven days because I don't wanna just be, I don't know. Look at this, day two. Y'all not about to play with me, excuse my ashy toes, but day two, I started off at 165. I'm 153, you do the math. Today is day two of the cabbage soup cleanse. You guys, I cannot believe like how much the pounds are going down on the scale this fast. It's crazy. I recommend you guys to adopt it. Like honestly, this is something that is really good to adopt. Around this time around fall time, around all of this to these times that you eat and hang in with your family and stuff, most people gain about 10, 15 to 20 pounds right now. And a lot of it, what people don't realize is that it's bloat. It, a lot of it is bloat so adopting something like the cabbage soup cleanse or something like that will help you to de-bloat you really want to be responsible with it you don't want to go crazy with it to us to an extreme to where you get unhealthy because i don't recommend going past about seven days doing something like this you guys see how fast i'm dropping pounds and it's just crazy so day two i'm feeling good i'll see you guys on day three Okay, today is Wednesday, October 20th, and I'm trying to hurry up and film this footage so I can have it up for you guys. Um, I'm about to hop on the scale, and then we'll talk after that. We're gonna see how much weight I lost in these three days. All right, you guys can see, what is that, 17 pounds on 148? Y'all be sleeping on these cleanses, I'm telling you, this is crazy. But you guys, I'm quitting, I'm throwing in the towel. Three days, 19 pounds, so that's good enough for me. Um, as you guys can see, our bodies are full of a bunch of bloat. So if you pierce through that bloat before you even get to that fat, you might realize you don't even need to lose weight. It might just be bloat, okay? So a lot of us are carrying 10, 20, maybe even 30 pounds of just pure bloat. That's that's why I stress to stay away foods that are full of just high sodium, saucy foods, all of that stuff is just like no bueno, okay? Um, and just to recap really quick, what I was doing is having my cabbage soup all day with the shrimp added in. The recipe will be at the end of this video. Also two bananas a day and then having my Bellway twice a day, my Bellway drinks twice a day. It tastes like juice is really good. Like I said, 20% down below. I did do four mile rides once a day for these three day, three days 19 pounds that is crazy that is insanely sick you guys but um yeah i did do my peloton really low impact beginner rides you guys can just do my walking videos i have walk-in workout videos on here that you guys can do that super low impact you i'm talking to you guys encouraging you guys along the way you, before you know it you're done okay <laughs> and i will um link those in the cards also in the description box down below you guys can do this okay if i just lost that 19 pounds in three days you guys have the same 24 hours in a day no excuses get your butt up put your health first and get it going okay if i can do it you guys can do it don't let these holidays this fall season or anything like that get you into a rut to a point of no return take care of yourself take care of your health because that equals wealth baby recipe coming now show you guys basically the key basics on how i cut everything up just in case you know you guys don't know how to cut different things. You will be surprised, you guys. Some people be like, Keisha, why you didn't show us how you did this? I don't know how to do that. So I'm trying to be quick, but as thorough as possible um, while keeping you guys' attention as well. So with the onion, I just give it a dice. That's all I do. Nothing fancy at all. Just dice, 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 dice. And I'm just gonna show you guys slowly how I do this and then I'll speed it up and as I am moving along I will stop to show you guys how I chop everything else up but like I said this is just super simple I just give it a dice and I pretty much do the same thing with everything I just pretty much dice it up so I'll speed this up right now for you guys
so this is the most chopping I'm doing to this and then with my carrots I literally use about I said two cups earlier I would say about one cup I use a handful basically of the shredded carrots I'm not really a fan of carrots but I know they have a lot of health benefits so and a lot of people aren't a lot of aren't fans of a lot of things like leafy greens a lot of people don't like them but if you move past the fact that you don't like it and just eat it just because it's like good for you i'm telling you your body will thank you for it later a lot of things aren't that tasty but if you add a little bit of seasoning to it and then also you have to let your body adjust to those fresh tastes tasting foods if you were used to eating mcdonald's all the time um whatever all the time you know all of the junk food you are not going to even want to eat this stuff so that's why this this cleanses like this is so good i am sold on this cabbage soup cleanse i'm telling you guys because it reset your taste buds it shrink your stomach before you know it you're not eating nearly as much as you would eat before it's just so many different benefits that come along with this cabbage soup diet and i'm not ever even hungry on it okay the first day i'm not gonna lie i was super hungry right i was like what in the world i could tell my body was like okay what's going on day two was the worst i felt pretty bloated it really feels good to reset your body you just feel awesome and the way that i cut this i'm trying to scoot everything over slice it down the middle and chop 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 and i just use two of these celery sticks because I'm not a fan of celery all that much. I don't know, but it's good for you though. Like I said, a lot of things you might not be a fan of, but it's good for you and you need it in your life, all right? I'm about to put this into a pot and then uh, saute these vegetables. Now, a lot of people I saw used um, oil to saute. I say stay away from the oil. You wanna keep this as clean as possible use water i use water to saute my vegetables these vegetables right here and it turned out just fine you do not need matter of fact i'm about to show you guys how to saute things with water without oil and then that way you can save yourself some calories too on this because one small amount of oil be like 120 calories that's why i always tell you guys to stay away from sauces and stuff like that my husband is like teasing me through the window outside it's so funny anyway that's why i tell you guys to stay away from those sauces and all of that stuff. okay so this pot is kind of worn because i cook a lot so excuse that but see that small amount of oil that's right there in a, i mean small amount of water that's right there in the corner that's all that i use and i'll put it on the stove on high once it get hot and sizzly i throw my vegetables in there and just saute away now that my pot is nice hot and sizzly i don't know if you guys can see it but it's it's pretty hot i'm throwing in all of these vegetables right here i also got a pot of boiling water on the back of the stove because as i said i'm cooking dinner for my family as well so i just throw all of this in and then i leave it saute it up until it's translucent and then i throw in the other stuff i'll show you guys okay y'all so i decided just to show y'all anyway me cutting up this cabbage just in case some people do not know how to cut up cabbage all right so i cut let me adjust this color real quick on my camera hold on all right now we in the money all right so that's still too bright a little bit all right so i cut it like that because this part of course is like hard down here so some people might feel like oh that's a waste of cabbage cut around but not me oh well whatever all right so cut it like that first of all i took the outer layer of that skin off of the cabbage i do not that's nasty people been touching on that cabbage so if you have cabbage cut take that outer layer part at least three layers of that outer layer part that's gross people probably been digging everywhere on their body touching on that cabbage that's nasty you don't want that in your life all right and i cut like that like that and then just boom 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 simple it's super simple nothing extravagant and i just put it inside Ooh, i'm dropping everything you guys put it inside of my strainer and then clean it all of the cabbage just clean it little by little spraying it making sure all of that dirt everything is off of it 
And then it's that simple, you guys. Now that I have everything, let me see if I can turn this color up for y'all real quick. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. All right, I have everything here on the um, stove. It's all, you guys can kind of see how it looks. Let me put this water down so y'all can see. I got it all browned and just like sauteed up. I'm about to throw in my stewed tomatoes and then I'm gonna throw in these diced tomatoes. I hope this footage is clear because it did not look clear. Ah, I just got these tomatoes all over me, y'all. And then um, I'm throwing in some water. I would say I fill this water up to about, hold on, to about right, about right there on my pot to make it soupy. Pour as much water in as you choose to, but that's just what I do. So let me go get some water to throw in here. And also what I do is kind of just put water in these just to get the rest of the sauce out. And then um, I go fill it up with some more water just freely. You guys know what I'm saying? After that, I just freely just fill it up with water after this. That's that simple. So, and then I just add in the cabbage after that. Y'all, this soup is so simple, but it's so good. I, I, I absolutely love cabbage. So for me, this is like a cakewalk. It's crazy. I'm in love with cabbage. I always have been since I was little. And so look, with this um, cabbage, it's big at first. So what I do is the half, one half of the cabbage, I um, let it wilt down first. I put the top on it let it wilt down and then add the rest in and that's that's about a 10 minute process so as far as the salt i'm about to show you guys remember i said i don't spare when it come down to it i just kind of freely add it in super simple and with this soup i eat it all throughout the day by the end of the day i have enough left for about um i would say about one bowl the next day and I just eat it. I do not feel hungry, starving, or anything like that on this diet. I absolutely love it. With the pepper flakes, you guys, I don't measure nothing. That's how you know you will cook when you don't got to measure. <laughs> Let me stop, but I'm serious. All right, and then I just do this, and then I add in the other part of the cabbage, like I said, and then I let it simmer on about medium my stove is numbered it's not medium low high it's numbered so i let it simmer on about five for about 45 minutes 30 to 45 minutes and it's good to go baby and just like that booze the cabbage soup is fully done this stuff smells so good it is so good very flavorful flavor season all of that season your food because without flavor you are not going to stick to this trust and believe Add in your Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you are going to use. I prefer pink Himalayan. And child, this is about to get towed up.